Okay, so in this tutorial, this is Windows 8, and I'm going to show you how to do a factory reset. And it's going to wipe all your files, all your applications, and um, pretty much put it to how it was when you pulled it out of the box when you bought it. Um, on the start screen here, you need to hover your mouse or your finger down the bottom right and go to the settings button. And then at the bottom here, you're going to have change PC settings. Um, this is the change PC settings screen you want, not the control panel. Um, which is sort of the new, newer part of, of Windows 8, the additional bit on Windows 8. So um, you're probably familiar with the Windows settings here if you've been using Windows 8. Um, but the tab we need in PC settings here is general. And uh, that's the sixth one down on the left for me. Um, probably is going to be for most of you unless you've got additional applications which integrate with this bit. So if you go ahead and click on general tab, the one we're looking for is to um, set the PC back to factory settings. So you're going to need to scroll down a bit. Um, so it's actually named remove everything and reinstall Windows. Um, the one above it is going to not affect your files, leave the files intact and do the same thing um, which it advises you to do if you have virus, but this one we're going to go ahead and press get started um, the whole process is going to take a little while, maybe over an hour depending on the specification of your PC um, those of you who have done Windows installs are probably going to know that it does take a little time because this does actually reinstall the operating system um, so once you click get started, it's going to ask us a couple of questions. It's just going to reiterate what it's doing. It's going to remove the files and applications and all the settings are going to be put back to default. Um, so if you're happy with this, we're just going to go ahead and click next. Um, so once we've clicked next, it's going to prepare. Um, mine was a fresh installation of a CD um, rather than pre-installed. Um, so it's going to ask me to install the put the disk in because it needs additional files from it. If you can if yours came pre-installed, it probably will have these files. If it doesn't, then put your recovery disks in. Um because then it will use the files from there to to do this. As it says your Windows installation or recovery meter will provide these files. Um so I'm just gonna pop that CD in a second. Okay, it's it's picked it up and it's verified it. And then it just wants to reiterate again what you want to do. Um, we want to clean the drive fully um, and reinstall the operating system it's gonna do or you could just remove the files. Um, so that's going to be the full reinstallation. If you're selling your computer, it's also a great time to do this. If you're happy with that, you're just going to go ahead and reset, and it's going to restart the computer, and then you're going to see it begin to prepare and reset the PC. I'm not going to take you through this process, but thanks for watching. If you like, subscribe. Thanks very much.